Ryan Reynolds. Woo woo. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Yeah, man, you know what? This looks a lot better than it did, you know, when we, when we started, man. Like, slowly, like, fucking, it's the matter. People just clumping together and shit. Anyway, um, right off, I gotta tell you guys the truth. Uh, my last name is not Reynolds. Um, some of you know that. Uh, the, for the people that don't know, my last name is not Reynolds. It's Reynaga. Uh, you see, I, I changed my name when I started doing stand-up comedy because people have a very hard time pronouncing Reynaga. You have any idea how fucked up it is to show up to a, a gig and have the host announce you as Ray, Renega, Reniga. I had one guy that didn't even try. He like looked at my hands, looked at me and like, Ray, R. Just gave up after the first letter, man. It's messed up. So like, I've had some unintended consequences though. Like. You know, so I use the last name Reynolds, and then I tell people that I'm Mexican, and they're like, really, you're Mexican? So why do you look like a redneck then? Uh, well, what do you mean? Like, well, what's up with the flannel shirts? Well, I like it, you know, it keeps me warm. You're listening to an awful lot of country music. It's a good band, motherfucker, you know? Great. You're fucking your cousin. At least it's not my sister. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I was saying, man, I, I'm Mexican. And uh, my dad and my parents are old school Mexican, you know, and that, that's just a nice way of saying that they used to beat the shit out of me. That's all that means. Yeah, fuck yeah, con la chancla, con la que tuviera, anything that's around the fucking bell, the fucking anything. You know, but like, I noticed something though. It's not just Mexicans, like anybody who's old school anything, that's just code for that, for they used to beat the shit out of you. He's like, oh yeah, my dad's like old school Italian, you know, or Hawaiian, <laughs> or anything. Yeah, it's just people just beat the shit out of their kids. You know, and, he, and it, 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 he's old school, not just in the way that he used to beat the shit out of us, but also in the way that he would punish us, you know? Like, you know how my dad taught me to wipe my ass? Okay? He made me go to school with my shitty underwear pinned to my backpack. So that the shame of that experience would incentivize me to wipe my ass correctly. And, and it worked, you know, like now it's like, it's not clean because I wipe it now until only blood comes out. You know, it's just the trauma just, just continues until it's like fucking sandpaper and shit. Yeah. But you know how old I was when this happened? I was a freshman. In college. Yeah, man, so that, that was a little bit, that was a little bit weird. You know, I'm a dad now. You know, so I get I get a chance to you know to try out some new approaches to these things, to say the least. I don't know. I, I feel up to the task, though, man. Like I, one of the things that that's kind of uh, strange for me, though, is like the realization that, that I came to recently that you know my son's four right now. So in, in the next few years, I'm gonna have to give him a talk. You know what I'm talking about? You know, drugs, alcohol, sex, all that shit. That's gonna feel really weird coming from. You know what I mean? Because how am I going to look my son in the eye when the time comes and be like, yeah, man, don't do drugs. When the truth is, like, if it wasn't for alcohol and Vicodin, you wouldn't even be here right now. So, yeah, man, how am I going to tell him, yeah, don't have unprotected sex? Because, like, if I hadn't been fucked up on Vicodin and alcohol, I would have pulled out, you know, but, yeah, so that'd be great. So, like, the, just the three things that you're supposed to tell your kids not to do, drugs, alcohol, unprotected sex, that trifecta of bad decisions is what he owes his very existence to. So, hi, it's a little hypocritical. You see you see my dilemma? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Seriously, man, like, it, it, how am I gonna tell him, yeah, don't do the things that I did, you know? It's, I don't, it, it's a really weird place to be in. I don't know, I haven't fully, like, grasped So unprofessional to have to look at those things. Jesus Christ, you have to be right just to make it. It's too late now, now that I fucking announced the whole shit on the mic. Oh, yeah, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing.
so, um, dude, uh, oh, thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, I shit out of the carpet. Uh, I'm to tell you guys a little bit more about me. Um, my favorite color is green. Um, all of my, yeah, really? Dude, all of my favorite stuff is green, you know what I mean? Like money, weed, pussy, you know? Yeah, 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 I'm a necrophiliac. I'm a necrophiliac. You're still breathing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not. No, it's fucked up, man. Whenever I tell that joke, though, like people, like always, they have the same questions. They're like, "Oh my God, why you kill people? And fuck them? Why?" Nah, man. I, I don't roll like that. I don't murder people. That's not cool. You know? But if we're in an elevator together and you're having a heart attack, I'm waiting it out. Some of you laughed at that because you understand it's a joke and not a biography. Um, I don't fuck that people, guys. Come on. What do I look like? Some kind of pervert? Yeah, I don't fuck that people. I, I, I only fuck homeless clowns now. It's the only thing that gets my dick hard anymore. with my baby's mama though. That, 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 that shit didn't work out. So I've uh, I recently tried to get back in the game, you know, and just like start I, dating websites, man. That's like the shit now, right? You can't meet anybody fucking organically anymore. Everything has to be done online. So I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. I went on Tinder. And uh, I got matched with a girl with Down syndrome. Um, hey, what? It's 2016, man. Uh, I, I went on that date. And I was a total gentleman, too, during the whole thing. But at the end of the day, no, while I was driving her home, she made it really weird. Because she, like, looked right at me, and she's like, put your pants down, and you stuff your wiener. I, I didn't know how to feel about this, you know what I mean? I'm just looking at her, and I'm thinking to myself, like, fuck, is this cool? Is this okay? Is this legal? Can I do this? You know, I, I can't make up my mind. You know, I've never been in this situation before. You know, so I'm just like, no, 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 it's cool, it's cool. And she's like insisting, you know, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, bitch, but no means no. So we just get into this shit, just back and forth. Yes, no, yes, no. Finally, she gets really upset with me, okay? And she just starts crying, and screaming, and banging her fucking head on the dashboard. I have to soothe her. You understand? This fucking mess of a person. I was like, fuck, I don't know what to do. You know, I'm just trying to, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. And I was just like, fuck. So I have, I, I have to play the only card I have left. You know, I have to use my cock as a pacifier. I, I, gave, I gave up. You know? I'm going to be honest, though, man. That's the best blowjob I ever had in my life. Uh, it's just something about all the drool that makes all the difference. Um, if you're groaning at that, you're full of shit. Because, yeah. like, look, if I had stuck to my gun, I would grab you a little mic. Yeah. Like, you're uh, 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 it's not that kind of show, sorry. We can turn it that. We have time? Can we? Can we? Can we? Uh, so I was saying, yeah, you're, you're full of shit. Because, like, if I had, you know, not done it, that same group of people that were groaning, like, oh my god, yeah, he's a fucking rapist, ew. You yeah, you would have been like, uh, he's a bigot. He's not helping her power of sexuality. What a fucking asshole. I don't know, it's kind of 2016. People over here. I've been trying to lose weight, guys. It's, it's not easy. Yeah, dude, it's fuck. You know, when, when I was, like, working out, I went to this park. The motherfuckers were like running uphill, just like sand park in Manhattan Beach. And I was just watching them. I, 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 but I was just like, God damn, how are you doing that over and over and over again? It looked like it, just for it, just for me to run up that hill one time, they're gonna be a fucking slice of pizza. I'm serious. What the fuck? So I, I, I asked a, a buddy of mine who just happens to be like really skinny and he's vegetarian and shit. Like, 
well, you know, what can I do, man? You seem to be in really good shape. What can I do to, you know, improve my physique? And his response is, hey, you should just go vegetarian, man. Really? That just seems really extreme, just right off the bat. I, I can't do that, you know? factory farming and all that bullshit, it's evil, I understand. But what bothers me about about like their whole like reasoning is that ne they never account for the fact that plants are alive as well, you know? They're conscious of their environment. They, they react to it, you know what I mean? Just because they don't have faces to scream out of when they're getting murdered doesn't mean they don't feel anything. They don't take into account that really what's going on is they're just like, ah! 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 Shit! You don't know, think about that. It's so good, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you, you, you tell them this shit, right? And they're like, oh my god, no, no. Plants aren't conscious, not like animals. Really? You can look me in the eye and tell me the plants aren't conscious, but really, until then, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Very much alive. I don't know, there's just the, that whole idea that the whole scene is just really weird to me. I'm not used to it. I, I, I'm from Linwood. Those, those of you who don't know, that, that's in South LA, Renwick, right Compton, Watts, South Central, all that shit. That's where I grew up. That's where I'm from. You know? And just recently, I started making my way up to the valley. I started waking up there, and like, all of this shit's fucking shit exists where I live, man. It's just fucking crackheads with shopping carts. Really. Liquor stores. You know what I'm yeah, right? It's, it's So it's fucking weird. And I, like, I try to imagine what like it would look like if like, that scene you know, in the valley with all that like, nice shit. What it would look like if that was down in the hood where I live. And it just doesn't fit, you know? It doesn't. You know, because you'd be walking around and you have cholos hitting you up like, hey, yes, is that shit organic? are you eating, eh? Why would you put that in your body, Holmes? And they'd probably beat the shit out of you. Just don't be bringing that GMO shit on my block, puto! Keep it natural around here, eh? Southside Vegas, puto! What? Alright, guys. That's my time. Um, give it up for your host. Where the fuck is he at? Oh, there he is. He's coming.